Metal. <laughs> so, really quickly, just introduce yourselves and tell us what you play. I'm Josh, I play the guitar. I'm Joel, I play bass. Uh, Corey, vocals. Trevor, drums. Very nice. And so, you guys are from Missoula, so what's the scene out there in, in uh, metal like right now? What is? Are there any other bands out there from Montana that you guys really like a lot or take influence from and enjoy playing with? Oh, yeah. Endeavor. <laughs> yeah. They're badass. Yeah. They're from Billings. Out of Billings. Very cool. Uh, awesome. We got uh, a ton of new bands in Missoula. Um, the scene there, it's, you know, bands helping bands. Um, we all kind of look out for each other and try and help the younger ones, you know, move up and have places to play and those kind of things. Cool. What's the turnout like at those shows usually? Do you get a lot of people kind of like the whiskey last night or um, like how many heads usually show up? Mm -hmm. uh, it varies on the show. Um, we're getting a lot of push with uh, a lot of the touring bands coming through the state. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a nice little stopping point between Salt Lake and Seattle, um, the where they can pick up a couple of shows. Um, but we do anywhere from um, 100 to 150 on the big ones. Oh, very good. And um, I know you guys released an EP, Purification of Sin, back in, was it 2007? Yeah. Yeah, are you guys working on new material right now? We have. We uh, went through a couple of uh, uh, hiccups, um, lost a member. This uh, album is uh, with, yeah, with five people, our guitar player, our other guitar player. Um, he, he quit. He quit. Yeah. <laughs> he quit. <laughs> yeah, you know. So uh, with Baby in school and everything, but uh, yeah, we're getting ready to, once we get back home, step into the studio with Buzz Records and, cool. and get it done. And you were telling me you're one of the only metal bands on Buzz Records, right? It's kind of like more of a rap, sort of hip-hop label. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, Ryan over there, he's got a fantastic studio, and uh, we've known him for years and years. So. What year did you guys form, and like, how did you all meet each other? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a trouble question? No. <laughs> uh, we got a joke of 10 years, 10 members. So, oh, okay. uh, you know, and Dunn's been going on uh, a long time. Uh, Trev and Josh were pretty much the two that uh, started. We're going on 18 years. Yeah. Damn. Um, Jeff extended an invitation for us to come down and um, do um, the Vegas and the whiskey show last night. Uh, we did Ogden. Um, the Friday before all that, um, and then we got what a couple weeks off, I think. We got a week off. Uh, week off, and then the Billings Project Independent they come through there. Um, oh, they do have a Montana day. Yeah. Oh, cool! Yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Yeah, we've been doing the Project Independent up there in Montana for about six years. Six about years. Six years. years. Wow. Sadie, who um, is our music consultant these days, um, that's how we met her. Was uh, she books a lot of shows uh, under Alley Street Presents and um, just got to know her doing shows and doing more shows and the Project Independent, um, she did it uh, seven years and then we jumped on um, about six years back. So. Pretty cool. What's the creative process like in the band? Like who uh, kind of contributes the ideas? How do you guys come up with new songs and new material? I write everything. You write everything? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to The Blues Machine comes up with the tunes. Yeah. Do this, do it. Do it. <laughs> Actually, no, that's more what Josh does. Yeah, we have a James Hetfield in the band. Yeah. 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 I'm the foreman. They call yeah. me the foreman. Yeah. yeah. Well, we all pretty much put in our, you know, everything and then just come together with it and see what we can do with it. What we like, what we don't yeah, like. we all write songs. Yeah, a riff will stick around for sometimes three months before it becomes a song. It'll stick around for three years before it, you know, we finally develop it into something. But it's just bits and pieces and working it. You know, usually one of the guys will come in with a riff and we'll just start basically jam banding, jam banding it, and uh, you know, however, whichever way it goes, it goes. Cool. Who are some of your guys' influences, especially um, for each particular member who kind of inspires you to, uh, who inspires your style and your approach to music and everything? Tommy fucking Lee. Yeah. <laughs> I made fucking Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Des uh, fucking Fafara. Devil Driver, baby. Yeah. 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 This guy sounds a lot like Des Fafara. <laughs> Des, you better watch out. <laughs> I'm coming for you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And how about you, Master Corey? Um, I don't know. Uh, everything. I'm, jeez. I got Bill Withers uh, on my ring back tone. <laughs> so, uh, old school. Old school. But uh, nowadays it's, uh, you know, bands like Machine Head, 
that uh, are just strong, powerful, and solid, you know, working bands, those kind of thing. What do you guys like to write about in your songs? I know uh, you said that um, a lot of it has to do with darkness and doom and kind of the ugliness of human nature on your Facebook. Yeah, it, yeah, we, uh, we, I think, as people and uh, as a band, really feel that, uh, you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of darkness in humanity, um, whether it be political, social, or even religious. Stupid fucking people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we met a lot of stupid people today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh just God. driving. <laughs> just driving here right now. No wonder. <laughs> what are some particular issues that are really close to your guys' hearts that you like to address with your, with your music? We got a song we've been playing for ten years that's about the war, so you know that pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We might quit playing it when we get out of the war. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey guys, remember this? We've been playing that song, yeah. playing that song for a while. Yeah, yeah. It's a song. Actually, it's on that CD, but we hit it into uh, track thirteen, um, and it's called Americanized Nation. Um, it's got a little bit of a punk feel to it, but uh, but it's metal. Uh, other than that, I think, um, I don't know, just, you know, the wrongs that people do is really, you know, and making it aware to people instead of them just getting away with it. I just wanted to ask a quick question because I saw that you're wearing a normal shirt, which is uh, <laughs> has to do with medical marijuana and um, reforming the rules of that. Um, recently, Montana has been fighting the legalization, the legal status of their medical marijuana program, and Normal has been fighting that a lot. What are your guys' opinions on that, and what's basically been going on? I think it fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. <laughs> it's kind of a slap in the face on the voters. The federal government raided everybody. That's what started it off. Yeah. They raided all the shops. I mean, I know they do that shit here too. Yeah, they do. They, do. they raided one up here not too long ago. Yeah, too. they slammed everybody. Yeah. yeah scared the hell out of the rest of them and so uh, but it, yeah they raided all the shops and we ended up closing ours basically because we were just the lawyer, yeah, yeah the lawyers were like fuck we can't do anything because it's against the federal law still so we didn't want to get raided don't go to jail no that, that would be good to stay out yeah jail's bad kids it is. Yeah. Stay in school too. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs at all. Don't do drugs do drugs drugs either. Don't yeah. Do or something along yeah. those lines. <laughs> Be safe. Indeed. Who are some of your guys' favorite early metal bands, like early on? Who who kind of inspired you to get into metal? Motley Crue. Motley Crue. Yeah. Okay. We all kind of grew up with the hair bands. Metallica. And and Man of War. Oh uh, uh, yeah. yeah. We were talking about Man of War last night. Mm -hmm. you know, Machine Head definitely. Black Sabbath. Yeah, Black Sabbath. I'm a big yeah. Black Sabbath fan. Well, love it all. So many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so, pretty much. Very yeah. right, cool. Who would you guys most like to tour with or work with in the future? I'm fucking Slayer. Slayer. <laughs> yeah, Seven Dust. Seven Dust. Seven Dust. Seven Dust. Seven Dust. Very favorite cool. bands. I fucking love Slayer and Seven Dust are great. Yeah, we do have a bit of a dream sheet, but. <laughs> yeah. Seven dust, let us play with you. Yeah. You're out there. Yeah. You come to the Wilma enough. Yeah, yeah they're, they're always in Missoula. Yeah, they're always in Montana. So have you guys been to any good shows lately? Yeah, last night at the Project Independence. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Other than that, though, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Right, well. We went to a Machine Head show in Salt Lake yeah. a couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. What, you were playing in Ogden? Yeah. Willie no, Nelson. No, no. Yeah, we we went to Willie Nelson, too. Cool. In Missoula. <laughs> that was the last concert I went to, Willie Nelson. What have you guys been listening to lately? Mm, yeah, Job for Cowboy and Skeleton Witch. Uh, yeah, Skeleton Witch is bad as fuck. Yeah, we played a, a show with them about a year back in Missoula. Um, for some crazy reason, it was like Skeleton Witch one week and then like uh, Goat Horde the next couple, you know, week or so, and then a couple weeks go by and it was like Three Inches of Blood. Oh, yeah. And we played with all three of those guys. That those so guys are hard working motherfuckers. Yeah. 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 Is there anything else you'd like to add in closing? Say yeah. fans, announcements, or anything? Rock and roll. Rock yeah. and roll. Have fun. Yeah. One fan at a time and come out to the shows. You, know, you won't All be shows. disappointed. Okay. When's the next date you guys are playing? And uh, where? The September 16th at uh, in Billings, the Project Independent. At the rail yard. At the rail yard. 
Okay. Well, you guys should make it out there, not only for Undone, but because Montana is one of the coolest fucking states on the planet. Yeah. Undone, and I'm Leia Sieve with Hales Web Scene and Metal Sonatas. Heavy fucking metal yeah. up your ass. You're